Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Concha or Conchita if you want to be fancy about it. Um, and my handle is of course African Asturian as you can see below. Today we're going to be doing something um, a little bit more interesting and exciting for me at least. I love my eyebrows. Um, yeah, I didn't love them when I was in high school because the trend then and also in primary school <laughs> was very thin eyebrows, you know, early 2000s brows, not a vibe, um, but back then, you know, wanting to fit in, I would wax these <laughs> bushy girls and then the regrowth looked terrible. Um, it was just all around a mess. Um, I stopped doing them in about like <laughs> end of matric, I was like, I don't care. And yeah, so when um, thick brows came into fashion, boy, I was happy. <laughs> I was so relieved because now everyone's like, oh, I love your brows after enduring. Um, whoops. Yeah, so yeah, after being mocked for my brows, now being complimented on them, and I was like, thank you, I was born with them. It's a great feeling. Um, but yeah, I'm very interested in a treatment called brow lamination. I think it started in the UK. I meant to do some research before filming this, but I forgot. <laughs> um, yeah, so when I saw that Petite Papillon Beauty, which is, in my opinion, one of the best salons in all of South Africa, um, when I saw that they'd be offering brow lamination, I was so excited. We were still under lockdown. So um, I just let my brows grow and grow and grow, and now they are incredibly bushy. I don't know how um, how good the lighting is and how much of it you can see but basically <laughs> they're bad. There's uni brow, there's everything. I um, haven't touched them. I think I trimmed here once or twice <laughs> and that's it. So yeah I'm very excited to do this brow lamination. <clears throat> so I wanted to post a review so you guys can see if you want to check it out as well. Um, yeah because I mean I really want to go for it if you don't know what it's like and I want to tell you how the treatment feels because I have eczema prone skin see how it lasts it'll be nice to not do my eyebrows every single morning <laughs> and if that's what this achieves for me I think I'll probably go back for it over and over so yeah I'm very keen um, yeah let's see what it's like I really love it. It feels like, well, it looks like I have much fuller and darker brows because it actually includes a tint, which is very cool. Um, and you can get your eyebrows only laminated and not waxed, 
but in the state that mine were in I obviously went for the wax as well so my skin has reacted a little bit to that because I had quite a lot of hair so it was you know down low um, and also I have very sensitive skin so that's why all the redness but it doesn't hurt which is good <laughs> it doesn't burn um, yeah overall it was a very pleasant experience and of course being at Petit Papillon I always feel like saying that in the French tone because it's so <laughs> so swish um, yeah they're very professional the way they did the waxing also didn't hurt at all it was wonderful and they explain every step of the way what they're doing check with you how it feels which is fantastic so the steps that you just saw um, they first waxed it was crazy like there was almost it looked like an entire eyebrow of hair I meant to take pictures or a video of it so I could show you like from here when they the first piece they took off no the, here was the first piece but anyway here it looked like a whole person's eyebrow <laughs> that's how much hair there was it was insane um, after that I think then they brushed it up put on the laminating liquid I want to call it it's like a perming solution but not damaging it has keratin and whatever in it so it like really actually gives your lashes uh, your eyebrows um, a boost and it's really healthy for them that smelled like ass <laughs> it smelled like um, what's it like beet or any hair removal cream had that that same odor but that's perming solution always stinks so yeah um, the next thing they put on was like a conditioning treatment I think it was some other sort of treatment and that smelled that smelled really good <laughs> um, then but then they removed like all the bits of residue that were there um, that was the only thing that was I would say slightly uncomfortable because you know like they gotta get all the bits out of your hair um, but even that it wasn't sore it was just like you know the only bit that you really notice something's being done to you <laughs> very comfortable and the last thing oh then they did a tint as well which was great because they had like a little gap here so when they tinted it those light brow hairs are also now dark and it looks filled in and beautiful definitely my favorite brow <laughs> Jess also said that when she did it favorite brow it's beautiful so I'll just take all my pictures like this from now on she also tweezed all the little stray hairs and then put a conditioning treatment which now has to be left on for 24 hours I can't put any um, any water on my eyebrow area so when I wash my face I'll just have to avoid that which will probably be good for it anyway to just let it calm down after the waxing because my hair my skin is like doesn't do well but the waxing the wax that they used was also very gentle very efficient um then the method method mainly was very efficient <laughs> it was really good so yeah um we'll see how it looks now after 24 hours and i'm able to actually clean it because i can see there's like a little bit of tint just one dot over there um that was like left in <laughs> that was missed or something but yeah, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't look weird, um, but tomorrow I'll clean that up and I will put some makeup on and see how this all looks and I'll show you guys. Let me know what you think. Oh yeah, so I've done my makeup now. I didn't put anything on my brows. I decided to go with nothing. I only used my fresh setting mist from Chicks, Chick Cosmetics with my spoolie um, just to brush them up and brush through make sure I hadn't gotten any um, other makeup in my brows um, I did cut carve them out with some concealer which I think just <laughs> completes them so well I'm actually gonna like just take this and show you a little bit closer I didn't do a thing to these except comb them. I mean, oh, so lovely. Don't have to do anything to my brows. 
Okay, it's a little bit messy with the carving out. I was very scared. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I doubt I'll be able to stop looking at my brows from now on when I look at myself in the mirror. So, I think I save time on doing my brows in the morning, but I'm gonna lose that time staring at my brows in the mirror. So, there's that. I mean, look, I can't even look at the camera. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'll be checking in at three weeks to see how it's going with the brows, how they're lasting, and then at six weeks or so. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I am very in love with this. Hi everyone, and welcome back. Um, it has now been four weeks, I think. Because the last video I filmed on the 1st of August, it is now the 30th of August, so it's been, it's been 30 days. I completely forgot last week to film a video <laughs> update. Um, yeah, it was just a hectic week. But I remember this week because we're house sitting in the same place that we were last time, so yay for consistency. <laughs> okay, so this is my brows this morning after showering. Um, I didn't brush them while wet because I wanted you to see how they kind of just fall naturally. <laughs> Um, so you can see they kind of look um, flat again, but I thought it was bad until I look back at old pictures and especially my old posts on Instagram and I realised there I was brushing them up hectically and trying <laughs> to get the brushed up look and they pretty much only look like this. So that is actually a massive improvement still, sorry for the dogs barking. Um, and this is what they look like when I do brush them up. Works a bit better when they're wet, which is the recommended way to care for them, is to brush them up while they're wet. So yeah, that's how they look. Still look good. Um, not quite as stuck in position as they were before, but they will still stay there pretty much all day. Um, and they don't, they're easy to get that way. It was two seconds there. Um, still looks great. I am getting regrowth because it's been four weeks, um, so the wax effect has obviously worn off. Other thoughts? Okay, so. I did get instructions on how to care for the brows and it was basically comb them up as soon as you get out of the shower while they're still wet and try to avoid using oily products because it makes the effect last less time. Now <laughs> I have a very scattered brain, brain and I didn't always remember to have my spoolie nearby. Um, in the bathroom or have one nearby um, I'd always move it for some reason when I was done with it and take it back to my makeup things and then I wouldn't have it the next morning so out of sight out of mind so I was very inconsistent with that so it probably affected them holding their shape sorry um, <laughs> and then also with the oily products it has been winter and my skin is very dry and I get eczema on my eyelids. I have been using um, an elixir which had oil in it to help with the dryness and I know there's no way I avoided getting any of that on my eyebrows. <laughs> so I know that I have shortened the length of time that this will last for. So I recommend that you don't use oil base products and that it's like or like if you do just really avoid your eye area with them um i couldn't because that's where my main dryness is and then also yeah remember to comb them up while they're wet and that was it it's, it's they have been very easy care my skin did not react to the perming solution which i'm really really impressed with because 
I mean, just when I went for um, threading the one time, my skin broke out terribly. When I use soap brows, often um, it will still, the product, if I use a bit too much, I'll still get pimples, like blind pimples, because of the product sitting there. Um, my skin is just too sensitive. But this has been my saving grace because I haven't had to put any product at all. Just boom, boom, boom. I really like brushing them up. It is a lot of fun, it's very addictive. So I'm gonna put that away now. Um, yeah, that's been great. I will check in in the next two weeks, do a final video, but I can see the effects are really like, it's already wearing off. Also my eyebrows grow really quickly. So I'm pretty sure by next week, I will need a new wax and tint. Oh, also the tint has also worn off quite a bit. And now they just look really natural. Yeah. I'll check in in next week or the week after. So hey, it has now been almost six weeks with my eyebrows and I would say about a week ago I could see the effects had worn off. So I'd say it lasted five weeks for me. Um, I'll tell you how I noticed. Basically now you can see, okay, excuse my skin, I haven't put any makeup on and also my eczema is a bit bad <laughs> today. Um, okay, first of all, obviously you can see all the regrowth. And secondly, you can see that my eyebrows are starting to get like curly and wavy again. And I'll show you that even when I comb them, they're still like a bit <laughs> wavy. So that like perm effect, the straightening, the Brazilian for your eyebrows effect <laughs> has definitely worn off. But all in all, I have to say it was really nice. It did make my eyebrows very low maintenance. I really appreciated just being able to brush them up every morning and that's it. <laughs> like, I think that also works really well for me because I already have bushy eyebrows, so there was no need for me to fill any gaps or anything. Just brush them up. Um, but if you do have a few gaps, it would just be like penciling in, you know, like one or two gaps. So that was a definite win. Saved me about 10 minutes every morning, which is neat. Um, would I recommend this? <laughs> definitely. I definitely would. Um, it was a treat for sure, because it's not cheap. Um, but it was definitely worth it in the amount of time that I saved and um, also product. <laughs> I didn't use any eyebrow products um, for these whole five, six weeks. Yeah, so it was definitely a win in that respect and with my very sensitive skin, I mean, you can see I've got like one or two, I think I've got a zit somewhere here and that's without using any products on my eyebrows. So when I do use products on my eyebrows, even really, really good hypoallergenic ones, sometimes I still get a reaction there. So I think it saved my skin a little bit, which is cool. And I didn't react to the products, which really surprised me, given that I have such sensitive skin. Yeah. Um, what else can I say about it? I've seen that there are also some home brow lamination kits. And I've been asked for my opinion on that. <laughs> so I thought I'd share it with all of you. Um, it's cool, but... Sorry. It's cool, but... It's definitely cheaper. Definitely a lot cheaper. Um, I forget the brand name. But like all the makeup influencers in South Africa have been doing it and everything. And I think it's like 300 and something rand for a kit that you can do your brows lamination your brow lamination and your eyelash lifting at home which is you know it's a lot cheaper than going to a place and getting it done for like 500 rand or whatever it was um but for me that just then depends on what you value so for me, waxing and um, getting your eyebrows done and getting your nails done and things like that, that treats. But then when I do them at home, it starts to feel like a bit of a chore. Um, so for me, I value more that treaty feeling than the money saved. But on the other hand, if you have 
not so much money and a lot of time on your hands then yeah try the home kits why not and if you do please share with me your thoughts on it and yeah please also share with me your thoughts on brow lamination if you've gotten it done send me pictures show me what it's like if you do try Petit Papillon um, also let me know it would be cool to hear your thoughts on it um, yeah hope you enjoy it I definitely do recommend also going to them for that treaty feeling because the whole vibe of their place is just oh, it feels like being somewhere far away from Joburg basically but still still a vibe <laughs> really like it there I'm going there again today to get this tidied up now I'm not gonna laminate again for me I'll just brush them up and use the eyebrow products I have until um, I've used all my eyebrow products then <laughs> maybe I'll consider it again um, I definitely recommend this for people who have very thin eyebrows and it doesn't look like you have a lot of eyebrows because the brushed upness and it's staying there really fills out your brow which is definitely a win but for me I don't necessarily need to do need to look like I have fuller brows <laughs> anyway yeah so that's all my thoughts on everything please let me know what you think of this video if you do like it you know tell me if you didn't give it a thumbs down you know and give me some constructive feedback always appreciate that have a great day and stay fabulous